export mailboxes, we need to allocate some permissions. So I'm going to open Active Directory Users and Computers and create a group and allocate the correct permissions to that group. Set new group. I'm going to call my group xmerge underscore users. It's a global security group. Click next. Uh, yeah, we'll let him have an email address next. Fesh. Uh, into that group, I'm going to put the domain administrator because by default the domain admin doesn't have enough rights to run xmerge. Okay, apply. Okay. So we're finished in there. We're going to run Exchange System Manager. Right click the root of your Exchange org and we're going to allow delegation to. I know the domain administrator is already in there anyway, but we're going to delegate rights to our Xmerge users group. Okay, exchange view on the administrator is adequate. Click OK. Next, finish. Now, lastly, we're going to need to grant rights directly on the mailbox store that you will be exporting mailboxes from. So, drill all the way down the mailbox store. Right click, properties, security tab, and once again, add in the group that we just created. Okay. Okay. Now grant full control because this, most importantly, grants the receive as and the send as rights, which by default are denied. Apply. Okay. And we're finished in here. Now XMerge is a download from Microsoft. It doesn't come with Exchange by default. It's only a tiny download. I'm just going to drop it on my desktop. Okay, run the executable that you download and it will extract. I'm just going to put it in a folder because otherwise it dumps everything on the desktop. Okay. Open up that folder. Open up Xmerge and those are the two files we want. The executable and the any file cut them out of there and they need to go in your exchange install directory in the bin directory so by default that's in program files exchange server bin your bin directory and exchange server may be on a different drive so paste those two files in there now because we've added permissions to a group we need to log off and log on and before the mailbox store permissions will kick in, the information store service needs to be restarted, so I'm just going to reboot the server to do both jobs at once. Log back into the server once again. We're finished with those now, so we delete them. Now to run xmerge, which you'll remember is in the bin directory. Program files, exchange server, bin Locate the xmerge exe file. Let's move that out of the way. Next, we want a two step procedure. Next, we are extracting data. Next, put in the exchange server name, then the domain controller name. Now mine's the same because it's a test network and not a production environment. That's uh, frowned upon, but I've only got one box here on the test network. Next, and it'll find the mailboxes. Remember, your mailboxes should be less than 2 gigabyte. We're using old PST technology. You can export particular date ranges if you want to try and get around this problem, but if all you use are mailboxes are below 2 gigabyte, that will not jump up and bite you. Next. Next, I've already created a folder on my C drive to put them in called Extracted PST Files. Let's drop them in there. Next. This is where you'd set your date ranges, etc. I've speeded this up dramatically. 
and when it's finished, as you see, operation completed successfully. We finish. Now let's just make sure that we've got our PST files in the right place. Explore, C, extracted PST files, and there they are. All our mailboxes extracted to PST files. All done. Don't forget to come and visit us at www.peaknetlive.com. Thank you very much.